Hello and welcome to Dusa TV News, your weekly roundup of the news in Dundee. I'm Jessica Harrier. And I'm Chris Jarrett. On Friday night, the eagerly anticipated student representative results were announced. With a voter turnout of 3,608 and one position, the SRC councillor without portfolio, being contested by no fewer than seven candidates, the contest generated much interest on campus. The full list of all the SRC results is available online. Just check out the link below. In a story which made national news, Dundee University research scientists have found evidence that a combination of certain blood tests could help detect heart disease in a patient before symptoms develop, thus enabling them to receive treatment and prevent illness from developing. The researchers assessed 300 patients with high cholesterol or blood pressure. 102 people were found to have silent heart disease. Professor Peter Weisberg of the Medical Heart Foundation stated that This research is an important step in the right direction. And The next steps will be to confirm how reliable the tests are and show that early treatment of people who test positive can improve their outlook. Thousands of students across Britain took part in a poll which asked them to grade their students association based on the role it plays in the university's social scene. DUSA has been voted the best student union in the UK by online magazine Witch. DUSA President Ian Kennedy said that This is yet more recognition of the hard work carried out every day by the staff here at DUSA. It follows on from Dundee being voted best in the UK for student experience at a times higher education study. So, there are plenty of good reasons to be here in Dundee. Last Saturday night, DUSA was once again the scene for the hugely popular Car Park Wave event. The night hive has always proved popular in the past, and so it proved again with 1,500 tickets sold before Saturday night, and many more sold on the door. Check out the DUSA TV Facebook page for videos from that night. <laughs> Ever fancied studying in a different country? The university is currently running study abroad exchange information sessions for first and second year students, telling you everything you need to know about spending part of your degree studying abroad and giving you the opportunity to chat to Dundee students who have been there and got a t-shirt. Classes are in the Dalhousie building this Wednesday, Thursday and Friday from 12 till 2. Check out the link below for more information. Finally, you might have noticed there's a wee bit nippy out. Heavy rain and severe winds have been causing problems all across Scotland. The Met Office said this morning that heavy and persistent rain is likely to continue, accompanied with severe gales, and Tayside Police are advising anyone travelling to take extra care and time with their journey, as the roads are extremely skiddy. So, if you're planning to travel anywhere for the next couple of days, bear in mind the weather and mind your step. And if you have any stories that you'd like to have featured on the news, Contact info at dusa.tv. That's, That's all for, for this week, Dundee. 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 <laughs>